Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. Uh, in, this disc, in this video, I am covering uh, my learning summary from the Middle Discourses 24, which is Chariots at the Ready. Uh, now, this discourse basically is, uh, it's basically Buddha had gone to Rajagaha in the bamboo grove and there were some mendicants who had come to Buddha uh, from their native land. And Buddha asked them that uh, mendicants, who amongst you is, you know, the you know the best kind of a mendicant and who, who is like very content and who is into seclusion, aloofness, energy, ethics, and who educates, encourages, fires up. That means a very good quality of a mendicant. So, I mean, all the mendicants said that uh, the Punna, son of Mantani, is esteemed in this way in our native land. So there was a Punna uh, a mendicant who uh, was recognized as a very, very, you know, esteemed kind of a mendicant in his practice. So, Sariputta was there with the Buddha at that time. So, Sariputta was very curious to know about Punna and was about, was wanted to meet him, knowing and hearing so much from the mendicants of his qualities. So, uh, so a mendicant went up to Sariputta and said that Punna is here only and he has just gone somewhere and uh, and to meditate and just Sariputta just uh, took up and just went there to follow and fo follow and find him uh, so that he can meet him. So then what happened is the exchange. So this basically discourse is an exchange between Sariputta who is again one of the most esteemed disciples of the Buddha and Punna who is again one of the most you know uh, uh, one of the most esteemed you know mendicants. So it's a basically a very respectable exchange between both. So basically here Sariputta is actually asking to uh, Punna is that uh, <clears throat> there's a series of questions that he asks. The answer to which is all the questions is no. So basically, uh, uh, Sariputta asks that that whatever spiritual life, spiritual practice that we are living, is it for the sake of purification of ethics? Punna said no. Then he asked, is it for purification of mind? Punna said no. So Sariputta said, is it for purification of view? No. Purification of overcoming doubt? No. Purification of knowledge? No. Purification of knowledge and vision of practice? No. Purification of knowledge and vision? No. Then what ex exactly is the purpose of leading the spiritual life under the Buddha? So Punna said, the purpose of leading the spiritual life under the Buddha is extinguishment by not grasping. Right? So basically here what, the, what Punna is trying to tell is that there is no, like there are many very steps towards this ultimate goal. But the purpose is not that step. The means is not the end. right? There are various steps towards the reaching the final goal. The final goal is extinguishment by not grasping, which is basically arhanship, which is basically totally ending all the defilements. Right? So there are various stages of awakening. Right? You can check my another video I've made on the various stages of awakening. So there are basically four. Stream entry, once returner, non-returner and arhant. Arhant is a person who is finally free from all defilements. So pan, Punna here is basically saying that the purpose of leading the spiritual life under the Buddha is extinguishment, complete extinguishment. That means not anything less, right? So it's total ultimate goal, right? So, so basically the thing is what Punna is trying to say is that the goal is important. But then, but then Punna also said that Goal is important, but that it doesn't mean the path is important. Path is not important. Uh, the the means are not important. The means are equally important. It's like a steps in a staircase, from step one to step ten. You take the steps to reach the top, right? So you cannot ignore the 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 uh, you know the destination, but you cannot also ignore the steps. So for example, if I tell you that you have to walk like ten steps to reach the first floor, so if you only focus on the eyes on the first floor and then you ignore the steps then you can fall down but you if only you focus on the steps then it there may be that you just stay at one of the paths right so the thing is that in this spiritual uh, kind of practice that we get is that we will get certain benefits and everything and you know cal calmness peace of mind and lot of things and respect right things becoming better for us things becoming easier for us but that is not uh, where we have to stop. That all is important uh, and these are like uh, the benefits that we get. But we have to keep our eyes on the goal, on the ultimate goal of becoming an Arhant. Right? 
ओके सो देन बुद्ध इज बेसिकली पुन्ना इज एक्सप्लेनिंग यू नो एज अ काइंड ऑफ अ सिमिली दैट सपोज द किंग पसंदी वॉन्ट्स टू गो फ्रॉम अर्जेंट बिजनेस फ्रॉम सवाथी टू सकेता राइट फ्रॉम वन सिटी टू अनदर सिटी वॉन्ट्स टू गो सो देर आर इन द बोथ द सिटीज देर आर सेवन चैरियट्स दैट आर यू नो कैप्ट सो दैट्स वाई दिस दिस कोर्स नेम इज चैरियट्स एट द रेडी राइट इट्स बेसिकली सेवन चैरियट्स आर स्टेशन बिटवीन द बोथ सिटीज सो किंग पसंदी टेक्स अ वन चैरियट ही अलाइट्स फ्रॉम दैट बोर्ड्स अनदर चैरियट देन ही टेक वॉक्स सम डिस्टेंस देन ही अलाइट्स एंड देन ही बोर्ड्स अनदर वन सो द सेवन चैरियट ही रीचेज द Uh, place of saketa so if he reaches the place of saketa and the person asks that you have come from this chariot basically the answer will be yes and no right that yes this is definitely the chariot from which he arrived but no will be why because they were all, in all seven chariots that were involved so it's a step by step journey we have to follow towards our enlightenment we cannot ignore any step we have to follow the steps we have to but we have to also keep in mind our ultimate goal and not stuck at anything less right so what is the goal extinguishment by not grasping which is arhanship and what is the path the path that we have to follow is the noble eightfold path right what is noble eightfold path basically right speech right action right livelihood right effort right mindfulness right concentration right understanding right thinking that is the eight noble eightfold path you have to be clear on the noble eightfold path if you are following the teachings of the buddha if you are not clear on the four noble truths noble eightfold path please make yourself clear i also have a course a buddha teachings course where i have explained all these things the basic these fundamental core teachings you can also purchase that course and support me through that so uh, we have to, we have to be very clear on the on the path and in a daily life we have to you know ensure that are we following the path in a proper way and day by day day by day day by day as we meditate as we practice mindfulness and the noble eightfold path in our daily life we will achieve our final goal right so this is my little understanding from this discourse and uh, do please do share read this the link to this entire discourse is given in the description do read this discourse at your end get your own insights the my aim of making these videos is basically so that you also start the sutta study right every day try reading one sutra all these kind of videos that i am making is like you know helpful uh, kind of encouragements to your own practice right so do the sutta study uh, do join us uh, the sangha the live sessions that uh, i do do try joining that uh, the you can join you know the link is the kind of numbers are there in the description you can just uh, connect with me and i will add you to the the uh, whatsapp group that's it thank you so much for watching namo buddhaye namo buddhaye